the big story. Sports betting once again on the table in Alabama. The USFL season kicks off next month and the league is reigniting that conversation. Good evening. I'm Sherry Jackson. And I'm Mark Franklin. USL allowing wagering in games in 15 states, but not in Alabama. State lawmakers introduced two gambling bills today that include sports betting. CBS 42's Carly Lane looking into the future of sports betting in Alabama. Carly? Yeah, Art, in just about a month, the USFL will kick off right here at Protective Stadium in Birmingham. And that, of course, opens the door for sports betting and other revenue opportunities. But as we all know, betting is still illegal here in the state of Alabama. But some state lawmakers say it is time to make a change. It's time Alabama got in the game. Thursday, the United States Football League authorized sports betting in 15 states. We're feeding other states instead of feeding ourselves. But Alabama, the host state for the league, is not on the list. We're losing a lot of money. Representative John Rogers filed a sports betting bill last session that failed. He says Alabama is missing out on millions. So why should we let the other state make all the money off, off, of, off of Birmingham, Alabama, Alabama, instead of making money here for ourselves in the state of Alabama? Meanwhile, lawmakers are discussing the matter once again. Two bills were introduced Thursday. Bill sponsor Senator Greg Albritton says the time is now. These two bills provide for a gaming commission, a strong gaming commission that will regulate, control, cap, and tax all of the entities that are out there existing. We will be able to set this up so that those that are existing will be able to be taxed right away. Rogers agrees, saying the start of the USFL is a great time to make the change. People are betting in Alabama across state lines, they bet on TV, I mean, it's happening anyway, so why not capitalize it and make you that money to help out people in the state of Alabama? Now we have reached the halfway point in this legislative session. Legislatures have about two months left to make a decision before the session ends on April 25th. Reporting live tonight from Protective Stadium, Carly Lang, CBS 42 News, local coverage you can count on. Carly.